Hello, I'm Dr. Carlo with anxietyboss.com. I'm here to answer your questions about anxiety. So a viewer asked the following question. He asked if SSRIs, also known as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors such as Zoloft or sertraline, he wonders if SSRIs affect GABA levels for anxiety. Okay, so I'll answer this question. So GABA is a neurotransmitter in the brain, which is important for the development and the treatment of anxiety. So GABA is a neurotransmitter in the central nervous system, and it is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. So things like benzodiazepines, such as Ativan, which the generic name is lorazepam, or clonazepam, also known as clonopin by its brand name. So these benzodiazepines affect GABA levels. So they increase GABA in the brain, and this increase in GABA thereby leads to decrease, decreases in anxiety. However, the viewer asked me if SSRIs, such as Zoloft and Prozac, do these SSRIs also affect GABA levels because he heard that somehow through a negative feedback loop that they somehow affect GABA levels. So the answer is no, SSRIs do not affect the GABA levels. But let me give you the neurobiology of anxiety, how anxiety develops, and how things like SSRIs, benzodiazepines, and psychotherapy such as cognitive behavioral therapy, how these things then affect the brain and thereby lead to decreased anxiety symptoms. So the when you look at the development of anxiety, what happens is that there is a malfunction in the amygdala. So the fear circuits of the brain are centered on a part of the brain called the amygdala. So when you have anxiety, these fear circuits based on the amygdala are overactive. So they are hyperactive and malfunctioning and thereby it leads to anxiety symptoms. So when you are trying to decrease anxiety, what you're trying to do when you're trying to treat anxiety, what you're trying to do is to decrease the hyperactivity of the fear circuits based on the amygdala. So there are in the brain, in the central nervous system, the fear circuits are modified by different neurons. So the amygdala, so in the brain you have the amygdala, and when you have anxiety, the amygdala is hyperactive. So the amygdala has, um, is innervated by serotonin neurons, and it's also innervated by GABA neurons. So independently, when you have an increase of serotonin of the serotonin signal from the serotonin neuron to the amygdala what happens is, is that this increase in serotonin signal from the serotonin neurons then leads to a suppression of the amygdala and thereby it quells the hyperactivity of the amygdala and thereby it leads to decreased anxiety symptoms so that's why things like SSRIs such as Zoloft sertraline so SSRIs um, increase the signal of the serotonin neurons and this increase in the serotonin neuron signal to the amygdala then leads to a decrease in anxiety symptoms since since increasing serotonin signal from the serotonin neurons suppresses the amygdala. You can also decrease anxiety and suppress the amygdala by the GABA neurons which innervate the amygdala independently. So these GABA neurons are, are, they are affected by things such as benzodiazepines. So benzodiazepines increase the GABA signal. And also, curiously, interestingly, Psychotherapy, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, also known as CBT. So CBT also increases the GABA signal. So what happens when you increase the GABA signal through 
benzodiazepines or via psychotherapy, what happens is this increase in the GABA signal from these treatment modalities, then the increase in the GABA signal then suppresses, also suppresses the amygdala and thereby leads to a decrease in anxiety symptoms. So what's, what we know clinically, if you have severe anxiety symptoms, such as severe panic disorder, for instance, so when you have panic attacks, that classifies as severe anxiety symptoms. So when you have severe anxiety symptoms, such as panic attacks and panic disorder, what we know clinically what works best is a multimodal treatment approach. So instead of just focusing on one treatment modality, the best clinical practice to date and that's supported by studies is that the multimodal treatment approach is most effective. So when you go back to the neurobiology of anxiety, as I told you before, the amygdala is innervated by both serotonin neurons and GABA neurons. So if you have severe anxiety symptoms, you want all of these modifiers to, to be you want all of these all of these pathways that lead to decrease in anxiety symptoms you want all these pathways to be working so if you have severe anxiety symptoms you want to have an increase in the serotonin signal and you want to have an increase in the GABA signal so how do you do this well you do it with a multimodal approach how do serotonin neurons get activated well they get activated by SSRIs such as Zoloft and how do GABA neurons get, get activated? Well, they get activated by benzodiazepines such as Ativan. And also GABA neurons are also activated by psychotherapy such as CBT. So when you have both the serotonin neurons and the GABA neurons, when you have both of these working um, concurrently at the same time, then both of these pathways then leads to a decrease in the hyperactivity of the amygdala and thereby leads to a decrease in anxiety symptoms. So if you have severe anxiety symptoms such as panic attacks or even obsessive compulsive disorder that classify or post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms, then you want a multimodal treatment approach which, which focuses on um, modifying and increasing the signals of both the serotonin neurons and the GABA neurons. So you do this through things such as SSRIs for the serotonin neurons and benzodiazepines and CBT for the GABA neurons. I hope this answers your question. I'm Dr. Carlo Carandang. Thank you for listening.